Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I am doing a collaboration with one of my favorite people that I've met on YouTube. Her name is Davida. She has a makeup channel herself. She does a lot of special effects makeup and face painting and body painting, but she also does regular kind of glam tutorials as well. So today we are both doing a glam tutorial using the new Jaclyn Hill Vault palettes. I'm gonna be using the Ring the Alarm palette to get this look. Davida is using the Dark Magic palette to create a cool toned fall look for you guys. So we've got warm toned fall look over here and Davida's got a cool toned fall look for you. Then definitely head over to her channel. I will have her channel, her video, and all of her socials linked in the drop box below. Make sure you go show her some love. She's one of the best people that I have met on YouTube. So please head over there and tell her hi from us over at my channel. But if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then you can just keep on watching this video. Hey guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just jump into this. I'm gonna try to make this a super quick tutorial because I really want you guys to see both mine and Davida's. Let's just get started. I'm gonna have her video linked in my Dropbox, by the way, so her channel and her video will both be linked. Make sure you go check her out because she is awesome. She's so sweet. She's one of my biggest supporters here on my channel, so please go check out her channel. I'm gonna start today with a Morphe M330 fluffy brush and and I'm gonna go in first with this color here, which is called Rush. I'm going to stick that in my inner crease area. So once I've kind of got the pigment down where I want it, I'm blending it out a little bit more using circular motions just to diffuse the edge. This looks so funny right now. I'm used to working from the outer corner to the inner corner. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade called Framed, and I'm gonna take that on the same brush and do the same thing, but I'm gonna put this on the outer corner. slowly merging the two shades together. I will say this purple shade is not blending as well as I want it to be, but that's the first shade that I've had trouble with out of this palette and the um, Armed and Gorgeous palette. I'm gonna mix this shade here with this one here, and I'm just gonna use that to kind of help buff these colors together a little bit more. I'm gonna focus it more on the outer corner than the inner corner as well. I'm having more trouble blending these than I anticipated. This is both mine and Davida's first time using these palettes. I've used the Armed and Gorgeous one before, but I haven't used this Ring the Alarm and she used the Dark Magic palette and it was her first time using that one. I didn't have really any problems with the Armed and Gorgeous palette, but this one, the shades are a little bit hard to blend and I'm finding that it's starting to look really muddy, so that makes me not happy, but we will continue on. I'm gonna pick up my M506 brush and I'm gonna go back into framed, that kind of plummy shade, and I'm going to try to bring that back here a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with my M330 and go into Mugshot and Alert again, the two shades that I mixed, just to bring those back up here. I'm finding that it looks a little patchy up here, so I'm just gonna try to fix that. Overall, these shadows just are not blending together very well, and it makes me sad to say that because I love Jaclyn, and I typically really like Morphe's products, but this one's hard to work with. I'm gonna kind of wipe off the darker pigment that was on my M506, that purple shade, and then I'm gonna go back into Rush, the lighter orange, and I'm gonna pop that back in the inner crease. Overall, I feel like these colors are just blending together and looking not good. Like, I feel like it just looks muddy. The colors, they just blended together in a weird way, I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna take my ColourPop E3 brush and I think I'm first gonna go in with Lolly. I'm gonna pick this up on both sides of my brush and then I'm gonna spritz it with Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna press this on the inner portion of my lid. This is a nice shade. 
I really like this shade because in sunlight it looks more gold and then in others it looks more like rose gold red toned. It looks really cool. Then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into on camera the gold shade. I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to put this on the outer portion of my lid. And for my bottom lash line, I want to take the shade Siren. It's kind of a, sh a satin with little, little, tiny, tiny flecks of glitter in it. I'm going to put that under my lower lash line. This is a Sigma E30 if you're curious. And then with my first brush, I'm going to go into Alert and I'm going to use that to blend out the lower lash line. I'm gonna pick up my ColourPop E3 again, and I'm gonna go in with Bomb Ass, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that under kind of the like center of my lower lash line. I'm gonna try to just take some of that on my fingertip and go in. Brush was a little too big. All right, so that's it for the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight out of this palette. I think I'm gonna use this middle top one. Picking up my Morphe M213 brush. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this off with some mascara and lashes, and then I will be back to close out this video. All right, guys, so I am back with the finished look. I put on some mascara, some cocoa lashes in the style Allure, just a, a little something to give us a little more definition in the lashes. I also put on a lip. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Child Star. It's one of my favorite nudes ever. I think it's so pretty, but the focus here is the eyeshadow. So as far as what I think of the eyeshadow, I think that the Armed and Gorgeous palette is much better than the Ring the Alarm palette. I used Ring the Alarm today just to clarify. Um, I felt that the shades were hard to blend together and once they did get blended, it looked muddy. I'm satisfied with the look we ended up with. I think that the shimmer shades are stunning, especially Lolly. I really like that shade. The mattes weren't as good as I anticipated them to be, so I'm a little disappointed with that. But overall, I feel like I was able to create a nice look. And if you paired several palettes out of the vault collection together, you could probably get an even better look. Like if I paired the Armed and Gorgeous palette with the Ring the Alarm palette, I'm sure that I could get a very nice look. I just didn't like how long I had to sit here and blend these shadows. So yeah, those are my final thoughts. Make sure you go to Davida's channel. Check out her video. She's going to show you guys how to do a cool toned fall look with the Dark Magic palette. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. You can follow her on Instagram and Twitter as well. I will link all of her socials in the Dropbox below along with mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me any suggestions you have in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do any videos that you want to see. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.